and Savage Nation. Let me hear the rest of the bumper, though. I don't know this music. Maybe I'll change this music out. It's the Savage Nation, one eight five five four hundred savage one eight five five four hundred seven two eight two from anywhere in America. Over 100 affili affiliates in five days and growing. Big announcements virtually every week will be coming about uh, new stations joining us on a regular basis here. If you're one of the early callers, it's going to be something you'll remember for a long time because it's the, I, I would say the renaissance of the Savage Nation is how I'd put it. And what we're talking about right now, if you just joined us, on this program is Revenge of the Soccer Moms, Women, Why Have You Abandoned Obama? And we had a caller who I think articulated very clearly why she didn't, she sort of was like swinging toward Obama and doesn't like him because he looked arrogant and petulant in the debate is what she said. Those are her words. I'm not a woman, so I don't know how women see things. Marilyn on KSFO in San Francisco. You're next up. What's on your mind, Marilyn? Go ahead, please. Oh, hey, hi. Before I make my comment, just let me say welcome back to the Bay Area, and I'd just love to get the new book that's coming out. I absolutely adored psychological nudity. <laughs> oh, well, you'll have to wait on train tracks because I'm not going to talk about it until after the election. It's it's going to be published the week of the election, which is kind of curious unto itself. But I'll talk about it the week after when nobody wants to hear the word Obama or Romney ever again. <laughs> okay, well, then just let me say in regards, okay, I'll be honest. I'm one of the 47% that Romney talked about. I'm dependent on help from the government because I am disabled. I wish that I was able to work because, you know, the intrusive questions and things that SSI and DI ask you, I'd rather be done with this. But, you know, unfortunately, my circumstances... Yes, but if you're genuinely, if you're genuinely ill, if you're genuinely incapable of taking care of yourself, that's what that program was created for. That's what it's for. It's supposed to help those who are unable to help themselves. The problem is people have abused the system, as you well know, uh, every time you go to a, a restaurant and you see someone with a blue handicap card getting out of a car uh, as fit as a uh, an athlete, you understand how people abuse systems. Well, exactly. And I just don't think that the direction that Obama wants to take our country in, uh, it'll be unrecognizable if he gets in. And furthermore, another thing that really infuriates me as a woman with the Democratic Party is that they will fight for my rights as a woman to murder my child through abortion, but they won't fight for my rights to, as a homeowner to put in the kind of toilet bowl or light bulb picture that I choose. <laughs> that's Well, that's quite a uh, sweeping generalization, Marilyn. I appreciate you calling the program, and I wish you well with your, with your uh, many issues. 1-800, I keep saying 800, 185, I'll get it down, 1-855-400-SAVAGE. That's a toll-free number from anywhere in the United States of America. 855 400 let us go to the next caller. 